What is it that makes a great film? And what do you need to make sure your films are great too? Answers coming up now. Hey everyone, Camber here coming at you from Mississippi and welcome to the beginning. The beginning of what? The beginning of a channel that is dedicated to teaching you all about filmmaking so that you can go from knowing absolutely nothing about taking video with your camera to being able to make awesome videos that people will even pay you for. So if that's you, consider subscribing because we've got a lot of great content to come. So let's jump right into it. There is so much equipment to consider when it comes to making films. I mean, you've got your camera, you've got your lenses, you've got tripods, monopods, sliders, gimbals, lights, microphones, diffusers, reflectors, filters, drones. So what is it that makes a good film? I've got a secret for you. It's none of that stuff. The most important part of filmmaking is none of that equipment that you get, not the gimbals, the tripods, the cameras, the microphones, the filters, any of that stuff. The most important part of filmmaking, the one thing you have to get right, is your story. Before we keep going, disclaimer, I know there's gonna be people out there that say your film can get ruined by bad lighting, bad framing, bad music, whatever. And I agree, a good story can be ruined by having bad lighting, bad framing, bad camera moves, bad audio, tons, a ton of variables. However, you can't fix a bad story just by having the best equipment, huge crews, or having the latest red 8K camera. If all it took was the best equipment, we wouldn't have films like this happen. You're letting him kill Martha. Why did you say that name? Or this. There's something pulling us apart. Oh, or this. You better hold on tight, spider monkey. <laughs> so the most important part of filmmaking is the story. Because we are first and foremost storytellers. Instead of writing our stories in a book, we're putting it up on a screen for people to see. There's a ton of variables. We're going to learn the technicals on how to make your story look good. But you have to start with that baseline of having a good story for it to be a good film. So what is it that makes a good story? How do we know if it's good? Think about your favorite films. Life was like a box of chocolates. And freeze! How much can you know about yourself if you've never been in a fight? Yeah! I need your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. A little fight now. I like that. How do you like them apples? <laughs> I always drive the car on Saturday, never drive on Monday. So you can curve. That's a bingo. Houston, we have a problem. I see dead people. Yeah! Ooh, it's, ooh, it's... Are you not entertained? So story is the most important building block of films. And we're gonna go into breaking down stories later on and seeing what is it that makes these good stories. For now, I'll just leave you this link here, you can go check out Darius Britt. He's got a lot of great videos talking about story structure, breaking down different movies, telling how they work and what is it that drives that story and makes it good. So check it out, that's a great resource there. But as we go into picking cameras, lens choice, all the different variables of your camera, learning how to use those tools to further your story, to better tell your story so that you can turn that story into an awesome film. So everyone, if you made it this far, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment down below of what your favorite film is and why. I'd love to hear what your favorite stories are. Subscribe if you haven't. And remember that the only way to get better at something is to practice. So get out there and film something. See you soon. Yeah.